everyone in Nickpro loved Christmas, and Angelica lived as North, so Nickpro did also. Hmm. Angelica loved Christmas, so except she only thought it was a present. That was it about. But no one completely knows why. It could be that her shoes were too tight. It could be that her head wasn't just screwed on just right. But I think that the most particular reason is that her heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, her heart or her shoes, she just stared at the town, wishing that she could have all their candy and presents for herself. Every year she thought, I am the great Angelica. Everybody has to do everything I say. I, anything I, uh, 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 uh. be hanging their stockings. Now, how could I get all their presents and toys just for me? Mm, all I do know is, every year, everyone will wake up in early and rush their presents with all those toys, 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 toys. Then they'll eat they're good and they'll feast, and they'll feast, 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 they'll eat their chocolate pudding, and their super duper ice cream sundae, oh, the ice cream sundae I can stand in the knees, what that giant toy toy they have, and the more Angelica thought about the thing, the more she had to think, I must find a way to get those burgers and candy just for me, but oh. how? Oh, 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 wow. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Do 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 do. holly jolly Xmas. Run! You are to help it. Did that just gonna happen? She got an idea. An awful idea. Angelica got a crazy, wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. Then she got a light bulb in her brain. She made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus and as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a... Greasy Black Pig! Just face the music, you're a monster! Mr. Grinch, yes you are! Your heart's an empty hole! Your brain is full of spatters, you got gotta get this all over, Mr. Grinch! Well, I wouldn't touch you with her! I asked for three quarters, not five eighths. Stay focused! You know, if you ask the who's who of Whoville, no one's denying it! Your bag's a little slow. But that's what these tests are for! You're a vile one! <clears throat> Mr. Grinch, you have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch! Given the choice between you, I'd take the seasick crocodile! Catches any clock for it? Oopsie! Got a little brain there. Did that stop it, Jellica? No. 
if I can't find the reindeer, I'll make one instead. Put it up to do it. 
that doesn't feel bad, huh, Rocky? Good Lord. And make sure you're done glad to be here. Now, what do you get? Mm. Huh? Angelica heard something. She put her hand to her ear. And she did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started low, then started to grow. The sound was glad. Everyone was sitting. With Christmas had come. Without any presents and candy at all. And then Jericho just stood there with their feet ice cold in the snow, pondering why. How could it be so? It came without weapons. It came without chocolate. It came without candy canes and jelly beans. While it bought some fragments. But in Jericho, that is something she had up before. Maybe I did have the old rock. Maybe Christmas isn't about the presents at all. Maybe Christmas means a lot more. What's happening to me? Then that day, Angelica's heart grew. Ten says you that day. No, get it. I really do. I love Christmas! I love you! Come here, you good old kid. Christmas will always be the way we always had it. And Angel learned the true meaning of Christmas that year. Her heart will always be ten thousands forever. Then I, SpongeBob, your narrator, is enjoying this party too. So I like to say goodbye. Hey, Bob! Come on, let's go! Enjoy the party! Together, huh? Keep and have a Merry Christmas!